Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Command Signs plugin. Now, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to attach commands to signs and do pretty much anything. So you can add delays, you can uh, add players. There's a lot you can do with this plugin, and it's very easy to set up. So in front of us, we can see a few different examples that I've made, and what we're going to do, we're going to go through them and then create some of our own. So the first one is the free diamond sign which gives us some dirt and some sand and there's about a one second delay to stop us from spamming it. The next sign will actually give us diamonds and there is no delay on this one. And then the third sign, if we click this, it will teleport us to uh, coordinates that we set. So 100, 100, 100. So the signs at the end, night and day, these have a much longer delay to stop people from spamming. So it's 0 0.07 minutes until we can click it again. And if we were to wait that amount of time, we're going to be able to obviously uh, change the day to night or whichever one we want. So those are a few different examples. Let's go ahead and create one of our own. So if we just place down the sign, you can use format codes, color codes, just um, make it as awesome as you want. I'm just going to write one word on it and make it nice and boring. Then if we do forward slash command sign, we can see the command. So if we do forward slash command sign add command, and then do we want it to be a server command or a player command? Um, then we can write the command without a forward slash. So give player in these weird um, V-shaped brackets, whatever they're called, and then we're going to give the player grass and 12 of grass. So if we were to spam the item, we're now going to get 12 grass every time we click it. Now, if we were to try and destroy the um, sign, it does not allow us uh, because there is a command attached to it unless we obviously destroy the block behind it and then it will destroy. So let's go ahead and create a teleport command just to show you how that would work. Very, very similar. Uh, we can just change it to TP or teleport, whichever one is easier. So probably TP player in the weird B brackets and then the coordinates. So just 100, 100, 100. And that would teleport us uh, a few different blocks away. So let's go ahead and show you how to create a delay for these signs. So we don't want people spamming this diamond sign and getting unlimited diamonds. So if we do forward slash command sign set delay, followed by either player or global. So player refers to the person who actually clicked the sign, global is everyone in the server. So um, depending on what the command is, it might not matter which one you pick. Uh, but let's just go with global and then the amount of time in ticks. So 20 ticks is obviously one second. And then 2000 ticks is obviously 100 seconds. So one minute 35. And that will uh, stop people from just spamming it and abusing it, which is really useful. Then we can do forward slash command sign reload if we've changed anything in the config files. And we can do command sign set price and then give it a price if we want people to um, pay for it if we have an economy plugin. So that is pretty much everything in game. Um, it's very straightforward, as you can see, you can do a lot with it. You can add multiple commands to each sign, it's very, very cool. So here we are in the command signs folder and as you can see there are a few files and languages folder. So in the languages folder, uh, if we go into this, there will be a couple of files. There's the English one and the German one, so you can pick whichever one uh, suits your server. And then if we go back into the signs.yml, in here this is going to save all the data regarding the signs that you create. So the, uh, the commands, the delay, the sender, the price, all of that good stuff. And then if we go back into the config.yml, you can change a few things in here. It's not very big. Obviously, we've got the language up at the top, the update message, the console log, and the prefix that will appear in chat. So that is pretty much everything outside um, of Minecraft that you can change. But if we were to go onto the Spigot page, you can see that it works with the latest version of Minecraft. If you have any problems with it, feel free to contact the developer and I'm sure he'll be able to uh, help you out with this. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. If you want to check out more of my tutorials, there'll be a link in the description. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.